Let me tell you about my family. Hey, here we go now. It's that time again. Let's take a look and see what's happening. Roller coaster ride. No surprise. It's life with Louie. Submitted for your approval, Cedar Knoll, Wisconsin. On the surface, it was a town, just like every other small town in America. But just under that surface, there was a unique force of nature. Nice car. Hey, nice dog. A force of nature called the Glens. There was Glen Glen. Hey, Louisa May Alcott. Did I give you permission to ride on my sidewalk? Ben Glenn. Hey, Glenn, how many times I gotta tell you don't stick your head out the window? Someone might cut it off. No, yeah, that would be a shame. And the glue that held Tropical Storm Glenn together, Jen Glenn. In our town, Jen Glenn was legend. Loch Ness had its monster, Boston had its strangler, and Cedar Knoll had Jen Glenn's voice. <gasps> you know what time it is? Look at my watch! Look at it! It says uh, one one minute after twelve. You know what that means? You're late. W w w w I needed my milk this morning. You know what I had for breakfast? Dry cereal. Dry. No milk. <laughs> it scratched up the roof of my mouth. You don't believe me? Want to see my mouth? Look at it. Look at it. Oh, she's gone too far this time. Bet you this guy retires early, like this afternoon. So who's up for lunch? I wasn't born yesterday! You've been weighing this scale down for years! She's in fine form today. I haven't seen her like this since, well, Tuesday. And take that wrapping off! It has at least four ounces! Four ounces! Did you hear me? You kidding? Whole state heard you. Who said that? Mm, a little birdie. You know how I hate to gossip. Oh, yeah. Like bees hate honey. But you wouldn't believe what she did today. She reduced a plumber to tears. Who? Who do you think? I give you a hint. It wasn't the Queen of England. It was that foghorn who lives down the street. Yeah. Hi, Dina. I heard. You couldn't get away from Jen Gwen. She was the subject of dinner table conversations all over town. Tried to get her to clean it up. I think that guy's still running. Who's talking about me? Who's talking about me? Don't let it happen again. And she was the first item on the agenda at every town meeting. I'm missing the fight. Goodness, could they have found a smaller room? And for the ninth year in a row. We have Proposition 87, originally proposed by Andy Anderson eight years ago. Take your sweet time, why not? Oh. The local noise ordinance would prohibit any citizen from raising their voice higher than 103 decibels. I second the notion. Thanks, uh, thanks, Ben Glenn. Let's vote, quickly. Listen to them, there's no time. All those in favor of the noise or the noise. Yay! All those opposed. Yay! For crying out loud. How can you sit there and dictate my right to verbal expression? It's called freedom of speech, people! Freedom! insult my wife like that. She's very delicate. Ah! Okay then, well, it sounds like the nays have it. And motion to nine meeting adjourned by by now. Ooh! Ah. Well, Mom, it's got the night sniffer dog and just a secret decoder ring inside. Now, Louie, you know we've already got three big boxes of cereal at home. Well, who's in it for the cereal? Don't try and cheat me. I saw you charge me for an extra can of tuna! Look, Louie, I think that's Mrs. Glenn ahead of us. Really? What gave it away? Look at that receipt! Look at it! What are you trying to say, Mom? 
Okay, I'm with you, honey. Sounds like... Swimming! You want to go swimming? Call me an ambulance? All right, you're an ambulance! Still don't understand why we have to go. Because I have to go. Does that clear things up for you, sport? Huh? Clear as mud. Now, Louie, it's always nice to visit a friend when they're sick. Friend? If you were in the hospital, wouldn't you want Jen Glenn to come visit you? No. no. Excuse me, can you tell me where... <laughs> Thank you much. <laughs> this way, boy. Hi, Jan. How are you? Look, honey. The Andersons. What are they doing here? Well, since we're here, we might as well make the most out of this. <sighs> Move over, Dad. Hey, can I get a cold one in here? Well, what do you know? Jen Glenn has visitors. <laughs> Looks like I lost the betting pool. <coughs> Not this time, my friend. How is she, Doctor? <sighs> the good news is her aim's never been worse. The bad news? <laughs> She's suffering from a rare and acute case of laryngitis. It's not curable, is it, Doc? Andy. I'm sorry to say it is. However, there is only one doctor in this world who can cure her, and he lives in Paris. <laughs> That's in France, you know. Mm. What a shame. Now, well, let's go. The operation is quite quite expensive, and not to mention the cost of flying him out. And, of course, there's the patient's uh, <laughs> attitude to deal with. Oh. Ah, no! I think I got that still playing in my head. We're taking up a collection. Uh, checks or money orders are accepted. I figured things would be a little different with Jen Glenn out of commission. I just didn't know. How different. Tina, top of the morning to you, darling. How about I take down your Christmas lights right after work today? Without Jen Glenn's voice ripping through town, people seemed happy, giddy, vibrant. It looks like you forgot to charge me for this grapefruit. <laughs> Please, Mrs. Grinmold, it's a gift. Lovely weather we're having, isn't it? Wonderful. Hey, how are your sinuses? Clear as a bell. You are so nice to ask. No, no, no. You're the nice guy here. No, you're the I nice think I'm gonna be guy. sick. It was truly frightening. It was like some kind of weird trance had taken over the people of Cedar Knoll. Everyone was really bored. Anyone? 101? 101? 101. Mm. We need news and gentlemen. Bad, bad news. USA This Week just published their annual list of the most boring towns in the country. And the town, formerly known as Cedar Knoll, is numbers one through eight. Now, what are we going to do about this? We will write a nasty letter. I second the nasty letter approach. But, uh, not too nasty. No, definitely not too nasty. Maybe just a short, oh, thank you for including us letter, hmm? Something was going on, but before I could get to the bottom of it... Louie, will you get that, please? Things got worse. Hey, new foot sponge! What are you doing here? Now, Louie, don't be rude. Invite Glen Glen in. To our house? Andy, Tommy, Glen Glen's here. He's having dinner with us. Ben's at the hospital and Glen's all alone. Oh, great. I hope you're not a wingman, because there's only so many wings to go around. Not to worry, Mr. Anderson. I'm a vegetarian. You are not. You eat slabs of cold roast beef for lunch every day. You stole turkey legs from three different kids last week. Mm. What is this? Mm. Mrs. Anderson, you have outdone yourself! Why, thank you, Glenn. It's so nice to get some feedback on one's cooking. I'm surprised you haven't opened a restaurant. Could I trouble you for another piece of casserole? Oh, it's no trouble at all. Hey! Louie, you're in bed.
embarrassing us in front of our guest. You know, Jen's the one who gave me this recipe. She's a whiz with a can of tuna and some curry. <laughs> Good thing he's got a friend like Louie. Hey, can I get a towel here? My shoulder's soaking. Oh, yeah, the kid's a regular tidal wave of compassion. A tsunami of sympathy. After that night, my relationship with Glen Glen took a strange turn. Hey, Louie, over here. Hey, Glen. For the worse. Mm. How's that, buddy? High enough for you? I can push higher. That's just fine, Glen Glen. Can I get you a cold drink? Some seltzer? Hey, Louie, where's your new best friend? Cute. Hey, buddy, got something for ya. Sorry, Glen Glen, there's no room at the table. <laughs> Traders. Hi, I haven't seen you since third period. Miss me? What's this? My class picture. Turn it over. Oh. Go ahead. Read it. Dear Lou, friends forever. Signed, Big G. That's me, Big G. Hey, you could be Little G if you want. I don't want to be any G. So now you give me your class picture. Sorry, Big G. I don't have one. No problem. No problem? <laughs> Maybe it was no problem for him. But it was a huge problem for me. I couldn't get rid of the guy. Glen Glen was the last thing I saw every night. And the first thing I saw every morning. Ready to go? I oiled your chain, tightened your brakes, and pumped up your tires. Glen Glen, no offense, but why are you acting so weird? What do you mean? Don't you want to tease me? Make fun of my name, remember? Loser, lunatic. Remember all those? I wouldn't do that. You don't want to give me a noogie? You know, really grind your knuckles into my scalp? That could bruise your cranium. How about a nice wedgie? A Grundy Buster. You know, really get in there and tug. We're pals, remember? Big G, little G. Pals don't wedgie pals. Come on, let's go down to our secret clubhouse. We don't have a secret clubhouse. Let's go find one. Tell you what, how about we race to the secret clubhouse? I'll give you a head start. Ready, set, go! <laughs> Mom, something weird is going on. You're telling me I've added three packets of yeast and this bread still won't rise. It's just spooky. Mom. Flat bread is the least of our problems. It's the whole town. Nobody's been themselves lately. Oh, Louie, if nobody's been themselves, then who do you suppose they've been? Look around. Ever since Mrs. Glenn got sick, the whole town's gone nutty. Define nutty. All right. Hey, Dad, I got 12 hours to kill. Tell me a story about the war. What war? Consider it defined. Oof. Speak to me. Speak to me, sweetie. Come on. You can do it. Tell me you love me. <laughs> That'll do for now. I come here to speak for a member of our community who cannot speak for herself. Oh, no. She's not talking about... Jen Glenn. Now, Jen Glenn needs us, and we need Jen Glenn. You want to hear my plan? Here it is. We raise money for Jen Glenn's operation by having a block party. Yeah, block party. Good idea, Mom. <sighs> Jeez, sewer sure guy for showing a little enthusiasm. Picture it. We'll have booths, carnival games, more food than you can shake a stick at. So what do you say, Cedar Knoll? Are you with me? No! Now come on, people. We all know that the word cedar no mean compassion. In what language? Swahili? Remember, Jen Glenn has many wonderful hidden qualities. Name one! Well, all right, Earl. Remember the time your garage almost burned down and the fire alarm didn't work? 
Jen Glenn opened her window and shouted, Fire at the Grunwalds! And the firemen were there within minutes. Yeah, she saved our house. So what? And Gus, what about the time your dog was lost and no one could find him until Jen Glenn let out that high-pitched squeal that only dogs can hear and brought him back home? Come on, Dad. Snap on a vet. Say something. Mom needs you. Oh, jeez. All right, people. I've seen better support from my mother-in-law's pantyhose. I know what a slice of heaven these past few days have been. But Cedar, no, I mean Smile City, is a unit. And a unit always takes care of its soldiers, even if that soldier is a pain in the, uh, keister. Andy! You get the idea? So let's help a fallen soldier in the hole. After she recovers, I'll be the first one to look into getting her a transfer. Despite Mom and Dad's stirring speeches, the block party was a bust. It was like Cedar Knoll had completely forgotten how to have fun. Something was missing. Know. This is ridiculous. Goldilocks went into the kitchen, where she found three bowls of porridge. Hi, hey, Glenn. Who wrote this anyway? This one's too hot. Hey, this one's too what hot. are you, a creepy Lucy? I think it's noogie time. Glenn, Glenn, I can't believe it. You're back to normal. What'd you call me? Hey, little G, how about we head down to the donut shop? My treat. That's when it hit me. yoo uh -huh. Come to the block party. I realized what we were all missing. Jen Glenn. More specifically, Jen Glenn's voice. Goldilocks. Who means it's she Goldilocks? No wonder she turned into a criminal. Her parents were freaks. They should have been put away. Oh, no. She's cured. They said it was permanent. Once upon a time, there were three things. One, just three. Who are you kidding? There's pigs all over the place, just like this town. The Andersons, the Jensons, the Grunwalds, pigs, pigs. Oh, she's one to talk. Hey, are those apple fritters there? You know, Jen Glenn was actually the first person we met here in Cedar Knoll. We almost moved out that day. If you ask me, the stupid pig deserves to have his house blown down. No, 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 no. I, I, I was here first. Aura, these fritters are fabulous. They remind me of the town picnic the year Jen Glenn won the log tossing contest. <laughs> yeah, remember that barbecue last year? I think Jen Glenn devoured not one, not two, three old chickens all by herself. Yeah, that's that right. I've seen less carnage on the battlefield. <laughs> you don't want to talk, Anderson. I've seen you devour a three-course okay. meal without using your hands. At least old Jen keeps you on your toes. Needless to say, the block party turned out to be quite a success. There he is! Here comes the doctor! Ha, ha, ha. Everyone crossed their fingers and hoped the operation would work. Well, almost everyone. What a shame. It didn't work. No wonder I couldn't talk. Did you see how tight that bandage was? Look at it. Look at it! Ha, ha, ha. You sing like a bird. Welcome home, honey. There. I hope you're happy now. And some people are still celebrating. A small town is, well, like a finely tuned bicycle wheel. It doesn't roll right unless it has all its spokes. Did I give you permission to ride on my sidewalk, Buffalo? Well, Cedar Knoll finally got all of its spokes back. And from my unique perspective, I could see the whole town was rolling again, just as if it had never stopped. Run, run! How many times have I got to tell you no wedgies in the trees? It's bad for the tree! Look at the branch! It can't support the way in the tent! Look at it! Look at it!